Hey guys, it's AQC and welcome back to another guessing video for the day for you guys. That we, we are going, we already did that. We're going to the Duke Sky Story Quest. We're going to Rasley Story Quest. So yeah, so guys, we're about to go and get started on it, man. Especially, I love this guy, but I'm not going to get him because I want to save for Farina. So, we're going to do his story quest today, but I really love this guy, but I don't want to get him because I want to save for Farina. So, yeah, but if he comes back, I mean, if all four take characters come back again as a rerun, I will get them. So, guys, we're going to get started on this, so without further ado, let's get started. Before we start, make sure to leave a like you like this video, subscribe for more, turn the notification bell button so you won't miss the video, and follow me on Twitch for a dual live stream because I want to become a live streamer. Especially on doing YouTube content, but that's why I be doing reaction videos of video games or even my favorite video games. Let's go and get to the story now, and I hope you guys enjoy. All right, let's head to the Fortress of Metaphobite. All right, guys, let's get started. We once thought the Fortress of Meripede would be super scary, mm -hmm. but looking back on it, it really wasn't that bad. I know, right? We just need to learn about it from it. You've got a set schedule, guaranteed food and mm -hmm. board, and you can even buy all kinds of stuff with credit coupons. Yeah. It's no surprise that many people don't even want to leave. Huh, yeah, you're right. This place has good freedom. Oh, you mean Risley? Risley. He's definitely a pretty impressive leader. Yep. Well, he does look kind of intimidating. That's he right, the Duke guy! He's easy to talk to once you've had a conversation or two with him. Yeah. Simon wonders how he's like with the people here. Do they also get the same guy we do, or is he a lot harsher with the bad guys? I mean, he's probably a good number of trips in every situation. But yeah, still, he's still... I thought he was like a bad guy, but then it turns out he's, he's nothing but good. I mean, especially I like how he looks. Yeah, he must be doing right, really, guys? to maintain order here, while not making everything feel super oppressive. <laughs> Excuse me, did I hear someone there? Could you please do me a favor? It's not like an old guy muffled. Huh? Uh, uh. Paimon could have sworn she just heard something. Me too. Excuse me, is someone passing by? Could you do me a favor, please? Wait, he's crying? I mean, I don't hear anybody. Wait, is somebody, somebody stuck inside something? Nope, Paimon wasn't dreaming. There's someone over there for sure. But Paimon doesn't see anyone. Oh, did you hear my call? Thank you so much. What? I'm over here inside this big box. Oh, he's in the box. Wait, how did he get in the box? Uh, you're inside the box? Oh, no wonder Paimon didn't see anything. <laughs> well, come on, traveler. Let's go take a look. Um, yeah. why are you hiding in here anyway? If we hadn't happened to pass by, you could have been stuck for days. Complicated. Can we not talk about that for now? Uh, hey, how is that complicated? Like, did someone shave your eyebrows? Did someone strip your clothes? <laughs> okay, did someone strip your clothes? <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Did someone seriously do that to you? Yeah, seriously? No, no, it was nothing quite that serious. I just like some help finding my hat. Oh. Oh, he's bald! Okay, yeah, oh, yeah, I'm sorry, but yeah, I mean, yeah, he just gotta find, wait, he had to find his hat. Just your hat? But then, why can't you look for it yourself? Huh. Oh, wait, Pyro gets it! Uh-oh. Something must have happened to your hair! Uh, Pyro, we don't need to ask. Sorry, sorry. That's what happened. Pyro gets it now. <laughs> no oh. wonder why you had to hide inside the box. You just need your hat, right? We'll get it back to you right away. What kind Can of hat was it? I think you may have misunderstood me, but uh, never mind. What? Please just help me find my hat. Uh, okay. It's a soft and brown hat with a bit of a brim. Nothing fancy. I think I probably lost it near the entrance elevator. It was getting a bit hot, so I took it off and had a quick nap, but... Well, when I came to, it was gone. Well, wait, what? It's really important to me, so your help would mean the world. I'll wait here for your return. Don't worry, we'll be back in no time. Wait. 
Wait, I thought it. Wait, he need his head. He was high in the bus. Cause he, he's bald or something. Like, dude, there's nothing wrong being bald. I mean, I don't mind. <laughs> and besides, I mean, there's nothing wrong being bald. I mean, he, he especially needs his head. Wait, is that it right there? Huh. I don't see it. Nothing in the water either. Hmm. Kind of thought it might have gotten blown in. Oh, we've looked everywhere and still not seen anything that looks like a hat. I mean, we uh we can't scout it. Uh well, we can just buy him a hat. You should get fired up quick when it comes to shopping. <laughs> You'll let Paimon pick out some other stuff too, right? Mm -hmm. If we're going to the shop anyway. Well, either way, let's go check it out first. Okay, that's a good idea. But still, man, I mean, if that hat is so important to him too, I mean, can you just let go about that hat and just get a new one? I mean, like, I mean, like, seriously, guys. I mean, you just have to buy a new one. I mean, there's nothing, especially there's nothing wrong with being bald, right? Hey, like, there's nothing wrong being bald. I mean, I mean, you can always buy a new hat. You don't have to find the hat you're looking for. Uh, if you could try. Simon doesn't remember you being the boss. Well, hmm. I'm just standing in for Mr. Alvar while he's off restocking the shop. Now, just wait a sec. A blonde foreigner dressed all in white, accompanied by a glaze covered flying chunk of gingerbread. Flying chunk of gingerbread? <laughs> well, you must be the legendary traveler. And their companion Paimon. No. Uh, well, you're half right. Mm -hmm. Paimon's the traveler's treasured companion, sure, but she's not some flying chunk of gingerbread. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I just oh, I never thought I'd get the chance to see you with my own eyes. So <laughs> got a bit ahead of myself. <laughs> yeah, I mean yeah. I hope you'll find it in your magnanimous hearts to forgive my discourtesy. I'm just a nobody after all. I oh, do, you're not a nobody. I mean, you always, you always a somebody. There's no need to put yourself down like that. Paimon's just venting. Mm-hmm. Why, your heroic actions at Araneus have long made their way to the fortress of Meripede. Oh. We heard that you were personally received by his grace when you made your way down here, you know. Ah, you were the envy of all. And you're one of his grace's favorite people, so of course, everyone wants to be introduced to you. Ah, so it's because of him. <laughs> Well, I figure you'd appreciate honesty over flattery. <laughs> After all, I also only joined up here because I'd heard Mr. Alvar was a good friend of the Duke. Wait, du wait, the Duke has friends? I did not know he had friends, but but uh, but, but Corrine and the rest. But I didn't think but uh, new friends like Mr. Alvar that we never heard before. And no, I've only caught scant sight of his grace since then. As fate would have it, I've become fast friends with Mr. Alvar himself. Do people get friends that I quickly? Mean, we've all got agendas, huh. but rather than trying to force something to be true, it's often better to just go with the flow. Oh, take things slow, huh? Just one step at a time. Oh, so now you're trying to kiss up to us. <laughs> well, I did mean it when I <laughs> called you legends, and it is indeed an honor to meet the two of you. Oh, enough of that. Is there something you're looking for? A man's hat. No problem. Anything else? Um... Anything else than a man's hat? Feel free to check out anything you want. The credit coupon costs are on me. Wait, but that's... Uh... Aww. You don't have to be so nice. Well, it's not like I'm getting paid to watch this shop. Instead of more or coupons, Mr. Alvar usually lets me just take my pick of our goods. Life's been pretty good recently, so I might as well just wave your bill. Hmm. Never hurts to make some friends. And you know, it's great to make friends, guys. I mean, really, it really does. Well, if you put it that way. All right. Pyro will take a look. Okay. At the moment, his attention, Pyro managed to pick out two snacks. Are you sure you don't want more? These opportunities don't come by every day, you know. It's all right. Two will do. I never thought you'd turn down a, a chance of free load. I thought you always, like, get snacks. Well, you do have a point, though, yeah. But anyway, we don't need to get into that right now. We can discuss Pymonology later. Pymonology? Pymonology? Wait, is that real? Thank you so much. We'll be off then. <laughs> no problem.
problem, and thank you for your patronage. I'd appreciate it if he could put in a nice word for our establishment the next time you speak to his grace. Huh. Pyronology, huh? That's a good name for it. That's a real sneaky way of getting good reviews. All right. Knock, knock. You can come out now. We found your hat. Yep. You did? Oh, Archon, you just saved my life. Just one sec. Okay. Understanding this has nothing to do with my hair. What? <laughs> what? Are you serious? I, I don't. Wait, uh, this isn't my hat. Wait, I I don't understand. Well, we got you a new one. We tried really hard to look for your hat, but no dice. To be precise, someone else gave it to us. Oh, I see. Thank you so much. I'm really grateful, but unfortunately, there's just something special about my hat. What's special about your hat? Does it have some kind of sentimental value? But, um, sorry, I can't explain at the moment. Time's tight as well, so I suppose I'll keep looking for a while. If you're looking for a hat, I just picked one up over here. Is it yours? Your Grace! Oh, hey, my hey, friend, it's been a while. Well, it's a slow day today, so I decided to go for a little stroll. Hmm. Even if your workspace isn't cramped, it's still good to get some air. I'll say I'm not at all surprised to find the two of you here. You never could turn down someone's request for help. <laughs> it's what good adventurers do after all. Yeah, it's true. Is that so? Oh, that's his hat. Maybe I should consider asking the Adventurers Guild to open a branch here. As I recall, these hats are very important to members of the Beret Society. Best you avoid misplacing it again, hmm? You might not have the same luck next time. Oh. Uh, understood. <laughs> Thank you so much, Your Grace. Then, uh, then I'll be off. Um, what? I, I'll get going. What are the rules about these about these hats wearing this place in this place? Are there rules in their hats? Why do they care so much about his hat? I don't know. There are probably rules about it about hats in, in this place. Oh, and has he said something wrong? Uh, when he saw you, it was as if he'd seen a ghost. <laughs> yeah. Not at all. In fact, members of the Beret Society are model prisoners. They work hard and never get into trouble. They save me a lot of work, in fact. Oh. As for him. I guess he's just more of an introvert. It's not unusual for the more shy prisoners to freak out when I show up unannounced. Hmm. Huh? Shy? There are prisoners who are afraid to talk to people? Prisoners are still people, after all. There are as many crimes and motives as there are stars in the sky. Really? I never even thought of that. Because I was an introvert the first, before. I was an introvert. Selfish, heartless brute is just a stereotype. Hmm. Such labels could never capture the complexity of even a single individual person. Oh, I ain't never even thought of that. I mean, yeah, I mean, I used to be an introvert once, but then now since I'm starting, like, moving up just a little by little, the, I mean, the more I get moved up and everything, then the less I be an introvert. What kind of a person the prisoner may yeah. be and, and why they've committed a crime, we'd never know these things if they don't share their story with us. Hmm. You got a point. You got a point. Anyway, it's all good as long as it makes sense to you. What's this Barrett Society? Although most of the societies here will just turn individual brawls into mass ones, the Beret Society does appear to be an exception, and it's instead trying to experiment with some novel and interesting things. If you have some time, why don't we grab something at the coupon cafeteria? It'll give us time to catch up, too. Oh, okay. Yeah. If you're still interested in the Berets after that, I can take you to their usual gathering place as well. Biggest fan of that cafeteria, but if we're gonna catch up, let's go then. All right then, please follow me. Even it takes a little time. Welcome, your grace, and the traveler. 
Would you like three orders of today's welfare meal? Uh, yes! Unfortunately, we weren't informed of your visit in advance, so we didn't prepare any super deluxe welfare meals today. I'll pass on the food, then. What about you? I'm not hungry. Then, Paimon will also pass. Paimon will save her stomach for something better. <laughs> oh, what a pity. It would seem that none of us can properly appreciate your skills, Walsy. <laughs> then, I must beg your grace to find me some more ingredients, so I can come up with some more welfare meal recipes. Yeah, cuz I don't trust like last time, but they give it the meat. How about that meat? If you to eat, I can get you some drinks. We just got some great shipments in from above. Okay, drinks were fine. Yes, please? Huh. I didn't know you could get non-welfare stuff at this place. <laughs> it does really for everyone. Think of it as a special treat for VIPs. Wow. Even this welfare in this place? Oh, now that's what Paima <laughs> likes to hear. And that takes two bottles of the drink for Paimon, please. Oh, come on. Two bottles coming right up. Wait, is she really that thirsty? After I wrongfully break up the drinks for everyone. Wait, especially this were fairy here. Huh. On short notice, and we were both swamped by everything that happened after, so there was no time for more casual chit chat. I'm actually quite especially about Tassis in this of place. The others have already told me a lot about your deeds in Fontaine, but I'd love to hear it straight from the source. Oh, huh. that'd be quite the long story. Uh, we fought a two for nail's sake of justice. Well, even I'm still trying to learn about more about Fontaine, but yeah, I really want to learn about Fontaine too. I see. Certainly, that'd fit your title as the traveler. Oh yeah! Seeing everything for yourself, recording everything to the best of your ability, and making lots of friends along the way. Mm-hmm. I'm sure that by the end of your journey, you'll possess an unmatched amount of perspectives and opportunities. Yeah, that's what we made it for—just to go to the way to the end of our journey. Trying to get us to put in a good word for him, but you're the Duke, right? Why would you need to get on our good side? Well, after all, you did help the fortress and I maintain our autonomy. Is it so strange that I would want to give a few words of praise out of genuine admiration? Uh. Well, it's. Well, just a little bit. <laughs> so this is a matter of trust. Which is unfortunate, since I don't have nearly as interesting of a story to offer about myself. Oh. I was convicted and sent here at an early age. I only became the top dog after spending a long time figuring out its inner workings. He's a top dog? Oh! Power and control come in many forms. Some fair and ethical, others less so. Oh. And since we're all sinners here, the victor calls the shots, no matter how they manage to get to the top. That's true. So, what do you think? Didn't put you much more at ease, now did it? Uh, I kinda. You're really different from most of the people we've met so far. <laughs> <laughs> I'm perfectly aware of that, too. But even so, that doesn't make me think any less of you. I would very much like to maintain friendly relations with you, too. That's how I feel as well. Your Grace, after following your instructions, we were able to find a box of undeclared contraband in the latest shipment of cargo. They were extremely well hidden, and we've confirmed that the senders have been using this method to smuggle goods for a while. We're trying to trace the goods to their source. Got it. Leave the box here and contact me immediately if you make any progress. You're just yes, Your Grace. Oh, sorry, I had almost completely forgotten about this. Hmm? She mentioned something about Good contraband. Trip. Are they like? Dangerous goods? Not necessarily. The term is just applied to things people want to bring in on the sly. Hmm. Many people here are experts at pulling rabbits out of the most ordinary hats. So we have to examine everything carefully. Ordinary hats? Oh. Now, what do we have here? Hmm, it's more or less what I expected. Oh, this is certainly a box of curiosities. Mora, snacks? Yarn, balls, ropes, mechanical parts, and even a gem! A gem? Wait, hmm. if you've confiscated this entire box, then does that mean all of this belongs to you now? Yep. We can't just send them back up now, can we? Oh. What? But that's just insane profit! Traveler, why don't you become a duke as well? Uh, uh, wait, what? Um, 
And what about you, Paimon? Okay, that sound better. I didn't know you'd be so interested in this box. How about this then? You can pick anything you want from it. Consider it a gift from me. Oh, okay, cool. Really? You'll let Paimon pick anything? The okay facts, Paimon will have you know that she's got a real good eye for treasure. Dang, that's true though, yeah. I never joke about things like this. Oh, oh, right, right. All right, Paimon's gonna have a look. Take your time now. Paimon? Actually, never mind. Paimon doesn't want this gem anymore. Can Paimon pick something else instead? Uh, uh, Paimon, what's wrong? There's something weird about this gem. Paimon remembered a lot of bad things when she picked it up. Oh. Paimon couldn't even tune them out. It's as if the gem was just drawing them out of Paimon's brain. It was super sticky. Oh. Is that so? Let me give it a try. <laughs> Wisely? Paimon's right. I too experienced some unpleasant flashbacks. Huh. Huh. Let me try. Are you sure? I wouldn't exactly call it fun. Well, I want to make sure exactly what you just saw. Fair enough. Go ahead. I don't think it'll have a permanent effect. Yeah. Let's give it a try. Yeah, it's just like you said. I'll take this gem then and run a thorough investigation on its properties. Uh, Paimon, feel free to pick something else. Wait, so if 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 the travelers see about Lumi what happened back in the past, like flashbacks, I wonder what Paimon's flashbacks are too. Then, actually, never mind. Paimon's gonna pass. Paimon was thinking about one of the snacks, but who knows if it'll also make Paimon sick? An absolute decision. You do have a point. In that case, we should destroy the entire box and all of its contents. Seems like we're almost done with our drinks, too. Let's go check out the society's gathering place, then. I can introduce you, and we can also continue our conversation while we're at it. Wait, are you this free every day or something? That's what it feels like! Just noticed? I wasn't exactly busy the first time we met, either. Uh, why? Oh, okay, so, wait, so you, are you your own boss now? Like, he's like his own boss. Like, really, dude? Huh. Okay, back to the, about that gym. I mean, we saw flashbacks about Lumi and all, but now what about Paimon's? What her what her flashbacks are like? Or something. Well, we'll never know until we get to the... Might, we might know more something about Paimon, but I don't know. We are honored by your visit, Your Grace. All of us at the Society have been waiting for your arrival. All these your two guests? Mm-hmm. Let me introduce you to them. Traveler, this is Dugier, the head of the Beret Society. Dugier? This is their gathering place. Oh. Nice to Members meet you. Members can find all sorts of drinks and snacks here, as well as a large variety of books and other resources. Every once in a while, the Society will also host activities and seminars, which are always well attended. Ah. You flatter me, your grace. All we did was set up an organization in the same way as you would in the world above. It's so easy to feel lonely and helpless when you arrive here for the first time. I remember that feeling all too well. None of us knew anything about this place then, after all. <laughs> Even now, we learned about when it. when the thought came to me. If we could help everyone turn over a new leaf, they would no longer have to lead such gloomy existences. Hmm. Thus, it was with your help that I founded the Beret Society. Ah, it's kind of like make a place so a better place. Also involved with this rise leaf? Hmm. Ah, my part in this was minimal. All I did was follow procedure and rubber stamp the application. Oh. I'm sure you have a very good sense of what this place is about by now. As you know, not everyone takes their sentence seriously. For some, this is just another place where they can eat, breathe, and sleep. Hmm. But the society is a great place for those who wish to turn things around. Oh! Exactly right. 
Here, we keep an eye on each other and remind each other of our goals. Everyone can focus on rehabilitating our mental states and even make many new friends. Oh, our like a prison to make freedom and make friends. Donating goods and credit coupons. Same for the things you can see here. Huh. Who knew you could find such a place in the Fortress of Mirapeep? I know, right? It's like a good place, oh, guys. Hi. And what's the deal with the hats? Oh, yeah, the hats! Ah, there's nothing deep about it. I just felt like we needed some kind of visible identifier. Hmm. If our members felt joy and pride from being a part of this group, then the hats would become a point of pride for them as well. And when we're oh. together, we will feel a sense of community from seeing everyone's hats. So we make so we made friendship with hats. Optimism, community, By wearing hats. Work and a desire for a new life. I hope this hat will show everyone everything we have been working towards. So we so they be using hats to make good friendship and all. Something like that? In other words, that hat has come to represent something like a model citizen, which also helps them recruit new members. Oh. Once again, you are exactly right, Your Grace. That's a part of our goal as well. Let's take a little old seat over here. There's no need for us to stand. I'll ask the members to get us some drinks. Please, wait here just one moment. You know, feel free to look around, too, if you want to learn more about us. So this me was playing all along? Hmm. Huh. Seems like I shouldn't underestimate an adventurer's keen sense of observation. I'll bear that in mind the next time I need to do something low-key. Hmm. Uh, kidding, of course. We're just discussing some small matters. It shouldn't take long. We've also already gone over the organization's vision. Instead of listening to me try to explain some more, maybe it'd be better if you took a look around for yourself. Huh. Well, I can, we can used to do that. He didn't answer the question at all. Uh, well, we're already here, aren't we? Yeah, we might as well take a look, though. Yeah, they're supposed to be like the model prisoners, right? So this is what their spot looks like. I tell you, this place has everything. But now I'm really concerned about Tassis. Like, if they do Tassis here too, like they do welfare, they do friendship and everything. Especially, they just like done everything. Hmm. There's a good variety of books here, and the, and the diary is played this place book. There's a good purposes. Oh. Bomber? Hey, what are you doing over here? Oh, hello. Hmm. You are a guest of the Duke, are you not? I'm organizing the bookshelves. Want to take a look? I didn't know they had books here. Some classics, as well as a few books that the members published themselves. Wait, there are writers in this society? Yeah. Most of them are writing diaries or autobiographies on their time in the organization. Dude, this feels like home Some right now. Thinking. Like, more freedom, more books. Deal. They had everything. Some became real good at calligraphy. And even I've learned to use a camera. Oh. <laughs> we find it kind of funny. You see, had we managed to stay above ground, none of us would have ever had the time to learn any of those skills. Wow. Ah, it's because you all have a lot more free time now. Hmm. Not only that, but... We've also now got the mental space to think about taking on new things. Before we came here, we were constantly exhausted just trying to live. With how the Duke and Mr. Dugier have organized our lives down here, though, all we need to do is think about the things that we want to do. Mm. That's nice. You never nice. know what you may be good at until you give it a try. Yeah. And while you're here, no matter what you do, you won't get judged for it. After all, there's no need to conform to societal expectations when you're already in jail. So this is something like a safe space. Yeah, you could yeah, say that. That's exactly right. After all, not everyone is good at fighting or have the physical strength to do hard labor. The society is exactly what some of us need. Hmm. And that's This it. place is a better place. I just place. finished organizing this shelf as well, so feel free to check it out if you want. Just remember to put the books back after you're done. Hmm. Don't worry, we will. Um, Welcome painting? To gathering place. Is there anything you'd like me to explain to you? It's great to learn in this place. Oh, okay, we're just taking a look around. You sound like a like a Muslim's guide. Uh, well, that's not a bad comparison. It is my job to explain our amenities and benefits to our latest members. Huh. I'm sure Mr. Dugier has already explained some of it, but allow me to fill you in some more. 
Besides this space, which our members use to rest and relax, we also have an entertainment room, a fitness room, and a self-study room. So f oh. These rooms are open to all of our members. We want everyone to be able to use their free time to the fullest. I really love this place! Yeah, that's pretty cool. Hmm. You have a restaurant too? If you did, you also wouldn't have to eat at the big cafeteria anymore. Uh, yeah? Unfortunately, we don't. Oh. For matters like that, we still have to rely on his grace. Dude, this is right. This place is the best. They do everything here. I mean, seriously. Unlike other, like, unlike other places. But, dude, this is like the best place that you could ever come here. Like, really awesome, dude. We started a collaboration with the cafeteria a while back, though, so... They'll let us borrow their kitchen to do some simple research into recipes and cooking. Wow, you really thought of everything! Yeah, Paimon can definitely see how it'd be easier to live your life if you had all this support. Exactly! Yep, and that's exactly why Mr. Duje founded the Society. We all think we made the correct choice to join him. Huh, this place is not that bad! I really enjoy this! Okay, let's add this guy. Uh, Rigus? Rigus? How you said his name? We guys. Hey, you there. We guys. We guys. Uh, that's how you say your uh, name. Hello. Are you talking to Paimon? <laughs> yep, I'm talking to you. Now, why don't you follow my lead and take a deep breath before letting everything out like this? Okay. <sighs> <sighs> what in the world? Wait, wait. What do you? Okay. That, wait, that was really loud. <laughs> That's how I pump myself up every day. A lot of my friends have found it super useful too. Oh, like <sighs> ah, like that. <laughs> With one shot, you can release all the fatigue, resentment, and unfitness from your lungs, and return to the day with all the optimism in the world. Oh. Why don't you also give it a try, huh? I promise that it'll work. Okay, let's give it a try. I mean, let's do this. Oh, well, well, it's not normal just to, like, take a deep breath and yell, but. <laughs> Feeling shy? Yeah, I feel shy That's when right. I be doing that around people. Remember this trick, it'll come in handy one day. Just remember to take a deep breath and let it all out if you find yourself at your wit's end. Okay, we, I hope they start remembering this, but. <laughs> all right, we've talked to everybody. It sure sounds like they're all pretty happy. Yeah. We only had good things to say about this place. Huh. It looks like mm. they're starting to wrap up their conversation as well. Let's go over to them. Of course, Your Grace. I will attend to those matters right away. Okay, and I don't have anything else to add. Oh, you're back. What did you think about this place? I say this place is awesome! Now, note that your opinion will also affect my review of Dugier and the society as a whole. Oh, wait, I didn't know they were also a part of the evaluation process. It's because I don't know why I'm just a, just a loud person. Uh, it's all right with me, though. I'm pretty confident about our growth and activities. Paimon kind of thinks it's pretty good. Don't think anyone expected you to get a society going here of all places. Same here. Ah, uh, so it seems that you were able to get a sense of our vision and values. That's all I can ask for, really. The prisoners here all have very different personalities and psychological needs. Our needs are like violent beasts. If we can't face them properly, they'll grow restless and enraged, causing pain and conflict. But if we can placate them, they lose their fangs. They can even be converted into fuel for far nobler pursuits. Oh. Which is why, in my opinion, learning to reconcile with oneself is the first step on the path to redemption. You've hit the nail on the head, Your Grace. Before I founded the society, I had met too many people who could not come to terms with themselves. And I'm sure that a part of your support is rooted in your desire to help those people find their way. And Paimon thought everyone was enjoying life just fine, working and fighting. Of course, that lifestyle is more than enough for some people in the fortress. For others, though, it would just be useless distractions. Oh. Speaking of fighting, I'm not sure if you knew this, but even his grace sometimes fights in the ring. Wait, seriously? What? Wait. You fight in the ring too? Wearing those high-tech boxing gloves in your head? So that's... So that's... So that's why he dressed like that. Especially that's why... It, so that's why. Oh, I almost never need them. Almost never, you say? 
Huh, he's like a bosser. That's why. Hey, isn't that the guy who lost his hat? Did you come here to relax too? Uh-oh. What's wrong? Did you forget about us already? Uh. Are you feeling all right? You are looking a little pale. Well, especially with everybody. Why are everybody so shocked? No, I'm fine. Thank you for helping me get my hat back. Wait, wait, is he feeling nervous? Uh, wait. That's why I'm sorry, but I've got to go. He's kind of nervous. Like, he is really an introvert. He's still as weird as Bavour. Paimon's kind of used to it by now, though. Dugier, do you know what's up with him? Hmm. I'm also not too sure about that, as far as I recall. He's always been a little strange, but I'll check up on him later. Hey, I thought he might be kind of too shy. After all, it's my responsibility as the leader to make sure that no one falls through the cracks. We'll leave him to you then. Hmm. Where were we before we got sidetracked? Something about boss's gloves! Oh, right, about that. Yeah! You might have thought that I was joking, but in a place like that, everyone will use everything in their power to win. Cause you know, since I saw him being playable, I just saw that he was like bossing. I mean, that's what I thought. I mean, that's why he was like fighting. I mean, yeah, I just did the 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 playable thing. I thought it wasn't gonna pull for him, but still, I saw the playable and he was doing that bossy thing. So that's why he was looking like that. He, huh? That's why he's like the top dog. And when emotions run high, things often spiral out of control. That would be when I need to pull out my gloves to maintain order. Oh. Sometimes you might need more than just gloves as well. This pair of handcuffs has also come in handy quite a number of times. Wait, why is everybody looking? Oops. Oh, oh, he dropped the gem. Oh, isn't that that awful gem? You're still carrying it with you? Uh, yeah, I kept it on me because of its uh, special qualities. It won't affect me as long as I don't let it come into contact with my skin. Go on, you guys. Pick up the item for his grace, would you? Y yes, right, right away. Uh, why is everybody... Why is that everybody... gym shines with quite a dazzling light. I hope it hasn't been damaged. Your grace, please let me know if there's something wrong with it now. Wait, there's something weird about these guys. I mean, it's somehow they just like... Kind of look down and, and, and first of all, they were shocked. What is going on with you guys? Hmm, it still looks good to me. Say, Dugier, have you ever seen a gem like this? Never, your grace. Don't think I've ever been rich enough to afford this kind of thing. <laughs> I guess that's fair. We've already gone over most of the things that I wanted to talk about, so let's wrap up for the day. The Traveler also has some other plans, after all. Uh... uh. Got it, your grace. Take care, everyone. I'll take you to the exit. Traveler, Paimon, it was an honor. I'm sure everyone would love it if you were to visit again. And that goes for you as well, Your Grace. We wish you all the best in your endeavors. Hmm. And same to you. Huh. That's some... Well, at least we've made good visitors. Uh, Paimon doesn't think we made any plans for the rest of the day. Why did you lie to him? Well... What's your opinion of the society now that you've taken a look around their headquarters? Uh, Paimon thinks it's pretty chill. Weren't you complimenting them the entire time as well? Paimon doesn't remember exactly what you said, but wasn't it something along the lines of encouraging people to embrace their new lives with optimism? There's only one potential problem. If the society does too good a job managing and rehabilitating its members, you may be soon out of a job. Hmm. <laughs> That is certainly a possibility. But at this point in time, they're still reducing my workload by managing and rehabilitating prisoners in my stead. I wanted to see just how much they've managed to accomplish and also get a sense of Dugier's plans for the future. I arranged for a meeting out of curiosity, but then I noticed some faint hints of dissonance. Dissonance? Dissonance? I'm sure the traveler has sensed it too. Well, it... It's a bit hard to put into words, but there's something off about that place. As expected, you also picked up on it. Yeah, because I've seen people be shocked, and then they were just like, like, look down or something. Something weird about those guys. That's what I thought about it. Right, guys? That's what I thought. The whole truth is a bit complicated. 
so I'll explain everything to you later. Mm -hmm. I can tell you right now, though, that this was an unexpected turn of events. I had hoped to take care of it in secret, but now a confrontation may no longer be avoidable. It's hard to predict what might happen next. Hey, you completely lost my mind. Why don't you take this opportunity to check back on the gathering place? Just tell them you left something of yours there by accident. If my hypothesis is correct, Dugier should already have left. And with his watchful eye removed, you may well get a very different reception from the members. Yeah, that's what I saw. Uh, can't you just tell us exactly what to expect? I'm just following the most popular playbook in Fontaine. Investigate, obtain evidence, and then use the truth to render judgment. It's been so long since I got to watch a performance at Opera at Duclaise that I've even begun to miss it. I trust you for now. I'll explain everything to you later. But right now, we need to seize this opportunity. Find out what you can from them now while they're all in one place. We might not get another chance like this anytime soon. Hmm. Huh. It's just as Risley said. Seems like Dugier is no longer here. You said you felt there was something off about this place, right? So let's see if we can feel something out. Paimon will do her best to help. Um, let's see if we can strike up a conversation. Like right, they watching. You guys are. We're really sorry. We just realized that we lost something, and we figured we might have left it here by accident. We'll be on our way as soon as we find it. Oh, okay. Uh, does anyone see a uh, glass bottle by any chance? Uh -huh. uh, say, say that again. You see, you see that, guys? It just, it just happened again. And then him again too. Dude, there's something off about these guys. Nobody. Nobody knows. Wait, what did I just click? Oh. Uh. It's okay. There's no need to be nervous. It's not like we lost a whole bag of more or anything. We'll just look for it ourselves. If none of you caught a glimpse of it, we're not gonna tell Risley anything. Don't worry. I I'll go find Mr. Dugier. No need. We're just looking for something. Why does he have to know? Wait, hmm? Uh, they're incredibly suspicious. Like, really? It's like they terrify or something. We can look around for it, yeah? Wait, are they... Uh, it's like they can't do it. Like, they, they would feel confident just a moment ago, but then without that guy's gone, they just felt nervous. Hmm. Something's not right about here, guys. No, no, seriously, guys. Something's not right. He's... Hey, hello? Anyone home? Hello? How can I help you? Can you give us that rundown again? The Beret Society offers a variety of resources and benefits to its members, and, uh, I, I mean, you've already heard my spiel. I don't know anything beyond what I've already told you. You don't know anything? Uh, sorry, that's not what I meant. It's just there's nothing more I can tell you. He's he's kind of sound like he's he's kind of nervous about something. Okay, let's talk to him. And then, like he said, breathe in and then ah, like that. Hey, big guy. W what do you want? <laughs> Isn't this how you greeted us earlier? Take a deep breath and let it all out. Oh, yeah, that's right. You, you sure are a fast learner. Wait, where'd the optimism go? Uh, I... I ate something earlier, so I'm falling into a bit of a food coma. And, um, I mean, not everyone can be super upbeat all the time, right? Uh, You're looking for something, you said? I, I didn't see it, but, uh, I should be somewhere nearby. Okay... Man, something don't even feel right. Hmm. Let's talk to her. Are you still organizing the bookshelves? Yeah, and uh, I'm sorry. Uh, but you can't check out the books right now. We weren't thinking about that to begin with, but weren't you super friendly just a moment ago? Sorry. 
Okay, Paimon sees what you meant now. Yeah. Seems like they really don't want to talk to us, so let's just head back. So wait, so they in a verse too? As well? Huh. Oh. Oh, nice. Well, I'm coming back that later. Well, at least we got some goodies. Yeah, I think they were introverts too. Like, too shy to talk to people. Oh, you're back. How were things at their headquarters? It was as if they had all turned into completely different people. Especially they were acting all super scared. Hmm. That would prove my suspicions. Oh, yeah. The dissonance I mentioned earlier was precisely that fleeting moment of fear behind the cheerful facade. Especially just like that guy we find in inside the box. Right. He was acting super scared too when we saw him at the gathering place. That's why he was hiding himself in that box. Ha! Huh. Hmm. Actually, hasn't he just been acting super paranoid since we first met? It, uh, yeah, but the hat. And that's precisely why I took his hat. <laughs> Right. Oh, so the one who started it all was... The... It was you all along. The Duke? It's because I wanted to figure out what's really going on. I don't believe hmm. any of Dugier's talk about unstable mental states. How long have you been investigating about this? Not too long. Dugier made very elaborate preparations for my visit. But I don't know. It almost feels like the performance was too elaborate. Huh. Okay, but if you think something's wrong, why don't you just take the whole society into custody? Aren't you the Duke? You can do whatever you want in this place. <laughs> well, maybe you're actually a better fit for the position than I am. Just give me the word and I'll hand you the cuffs. In all seriousness, however, cuffs and the like should be used sparingly. They're mostly for show. Oh, so they're not real cuffs, they're just for show? Everything I do is on display. The way people see me act determines the kind of world I can create down here. And I've always striven to appear fair and reasonable to the people. Oh. Uh, that sounds a bit deep. I'm not sure she got all of it. The deuce as it was set the tone. Yeah, you've hit the nail on the head. I have to lead by example if I want to maintain expectations of justice and order. And that's why even though Dugier had already let a few things slip, I didn't want to turn on him without irrefutable evidence. Hmm. All right, so you're saying Dugier has figured out some way to control the members of his society. Okay. But I still don't know what's going on. Even though the members are acting all optimistic and motivated, it's all just a show. Huh. It feels like we're still missing something, but still, I don't even know what's going on. I see we got to see, we see some suspicious stuff, but still, like something's missing. Indeed. He certainly seems to be using some coercive methods to turn his members into the most upbeat and motivated group of people you've ever seen. Hmm. And that won't turn out well in the long run. Wait, so did he just force faith, people? Though, that some of to become that? understood the hint I gave during our visit. Hmm. The line has been set, and it's quite likely that a fish will bite. Oh. Fish? Fish? Bite? Bite fish? Is that a figure speech? Some time. My guards won't need it to finish their investigation too. Hmm. You can find me in my office when the time comes. Fish bite. Is that like a figure of speech? Hey, don't just leave before you've explained everything to Paimon. Hey! Uh. Oh, here you are. Did you manage to land a lucky poll on the welfare meals tonight? Let's just get straight to the point. Has yeah. Anything else happened with the society? Patience, Paimon. Even as the situation continues to brew, we still need to make sense of what we learned so far and go over any sticking points. I'm actually still thinking about the first thing that came to my mind when I noticed something amiss. Namely, why didn't anyone come to me about it? Oh, hmm. that's a good point. Could whatever they're afraid of be so powerful that even you won't be able to do anything about it? But even if such a thing existed, how could they be so sure without checking with me first? It'd yeah. be one thing if it was just one or two people, but it seems like everyone's convinced that I won't be able to help. Which leads me to believe that it's more likely that they think I just wouldn't care to help them. Huh. It's because you investigate Duker the fir in the first place? Or because you're working with Dodger all along? Yes, something like that. Dugier must have told them something to make them think I won't take their side. Huh. So it became imperative for me to refute that and prove my true stance. 
Of course, I had originally planned to do this in a more covert way, but I had to improvise when you identified the guy who'd lost his hat with everyone present. There was no way to keep our investigation a secret after that. Yeah. So now you mention it. The last thing that guy wanted was for Dugier to find out that he'd lost it. He would have never brought the matter up on his own. But now, not only has Dugier found out that he'd lost his hat, he's also realized that we were the ones who found it. That likely set his internal alarms off all at once. So the hats must be hiding something. Yes, that's the conclusion I came to as well. It's the only thing that could explain the fear. So that's why they talk about the hats. If act right then and there, Dugier would probably come up with some other way to hide the truth and we'd be back to square one. Huh. So after giving the matter some thought, I tossed that black gem onto the ground. And they were shocked. I must say, I was pretty satisfied with the results. Hmm. Ah, so you did that on purpose? Well, oh, yes, that's right. <gasps> of course, that box was discovered as part of our investigation of the society from the very beginning. Wow, you I had no way to know if any of the members He's so sneaky. The gem before, but since I had to do something, I decided to gamble. Wow, so you being so slick. So that hint you were talking about earlier. Right. And I said back there that I had no idea. You're so slick. That should have been enough to let people know that it's still early days for my investigation. That's why he's so good. Traveling with you, heroes who have never turned a blind eye to evil and injustice, hmm. they would also understand that we're here to help rather than to tolerate or uphold the status quo. Right. You used us as a part of your plan too. So that why, so that's why you come and want to come with us alone. My apologies. There was no time and quite a lot to explain. So I figured it might be easier to just let you see a few things for yourselves. Hmm. But I can assure you that I've now told you everything there is to know. Oh, yeah. Of course, you're under no obligation. But I would really appreciate it if you could continue to lend me your support and help me figure out the true secret behind the society. Oh, yeah. Would you be willing to lend me your support? <laughs> yeah, sure. No problem. Anytime. Uh, but Crime, I'm still mad at you. Um, for sure. If you need, I mean, if all you need is some help planning... You have my thanks. Yeah, no problem. Now, there are still two outstanding matters in our investigation. The first is the secret of the hats. What's inside the I hats? Examined one before. My hat is okay. There was nothing suspicious about the item itself. There's no suspicions the in my hat. I'm good. The true purpose of the black gem. We haven't been able to get anything out of anyone with actual knowledge of it. It's my hope that a brave fish will take my bait and venture outside of their dark and murky pool. I'll put some music on while we wait. Hmm. What kind of music? Oh, even the background. Oh, he just turned the background music on? Wait, how did he know? That's some background music. Oh, that's the music for that right there. Hmm. Wait, he's going to tell a story about us? Oh. Oh, oh they're just relaxing. Okay. Yeah, I can relax too. You spend some time waiting and write all these on this. Wisely. Hmm? Excuse me, Your Grace. But may I come in? I'm afraid that someone's been following me. Please, do. Oh. Wait, is that because of the music? Oh. It's her. I apologize for my lack of composure. These two are the guests that came with you to our gathering place, correct? Uh, you know us? Yes, my lover Fasol told me all about you. Please, help us, Your Grace. He's in great danger right now. Slow down, take a deep breath, and start from the top. What happened at the Society? I'm sorry, Your Grace. I will try. I think I should start from when you saw Fasol last. You mean, when we saw him at the gathering place? Yes, he fled immediately, but many members are hot on his heels. Thankfully, he still managed to meet up with me and explain everything that had happened. Now that he's lost Dugier's trust, what awaits him is agonizing censure. Censure? Hmm. Censure is Dugier's method of establishing control, as well as the thing we all fear the most. Rather than listening to me explain what it is, Your Grace, please, just let me show it to you. Okay. 
Every secret may be found within. What? Ah, <gasps> uh, here you are. I was wondering where you had run off to in such a hurry. Whoa! Please excuse us, your grace. It was never our intention to disturb you like this. You see, our beast's just... mental state has been rather unstable ever since she arrived at the fortress. She just took the head off and then but he is! So wait, wait, wait. So when she took the head off, that's where he comes in. All because of Dude, what? We we for po we wah Dude, that's a lot of secrets. She rambles often, has hallucinations. It may be best to dismiss her babbling as random gibberish. Is she forcing is he be forcing those people wearing those hats? And then when they take them off, that's when he be appeared. Or something. I don't recall hearing a knock or giving permission for you to come in. Yeah! We don't hear no knock! Oh, my apologies. I merely did not wish for your grace to be alarmed. Had I not been so focused on recovering her, I would have followed all the rules of etiquette to the letter. What? So please, forgive my discourtesy. Is she controlling these people? <laughs> like, we believe you. Yeah, you got some nerve showing your face here. Please, there's no need to be upset. It's only natural to want to side with the poor sick girl, but I know his grace to be a reasonable man. Oh, shut up, man, because we know your act, dude. Quit the act. Well, then, what if the reasonable man wants to hear the lunatic out? Yeah. That would be perfectly fine with me. Oh, and just so you know, we've also found the missing Mr. Fasal. I had no idea why he was so upset about losing his hat, really. <sighs> Thankfully, he has already returned to his senses. We brought him back to our place, so there's no need to worry. <sighs> I'm sorry, Your Grace. I don't have anything more to say. This is what you're afraid of, correct? You can tell me everything. I'll do all I can for you. I... I've never seen that thing in my life. You could do it, Avis. <sighs> Your Grace... I don't think there's anything else she would like to say. Pressuring her will not get you anywhere. Oh, shut up! <sighs> Do it! It's all right, Elise. As long as you tell me what it is that you're terrified of. Yeah. No matter what it is, it will no longer be able to hurt you. I swear this on my name and honor as the Duke. Your Grace! <sighs> Forget it. I'll keep my mouth shut. I've already said everything I could say about the matter. I'm sorry, Your Grace, but I really don't have anything more to say. Please, don't press me further. Uh. But why? In that case, Avis and I will be off. Once again, please accept my apologies for disturbing your peaceful evening, Your Grace. Miss Avis, please show me your head. That is an order. Do it! Don't be afraid! There's nothing there. Your Grace, I know you have long tired of my words, but please believe me when I say you've nearly let your worries get to your head. The society has never caused trouble for you or any of the guards at the fortress. We've spent all of our time working hard and trying to lead better lives. Why are you doing everything in your power to prove our guilt? What's wrong with the current state of affairs? Dude, this guy is look like bad news to me. I'll do anything for you, as long as you give me the word. Why are you so intent on getting rid of someone who's been unfalteringly loyal? Hmm. Your words bore me. You know the consequences if I find you to be lying. Everything that I do, I do for the Fortress of Meripede. But your grace is welcome to visit us any time to confirm the true intent of our activities. All right, Abyss. Let's head back. Should we follow them? I know, right? Sooner or later, all will pay the price for their arrogance. Oh, 
He must have been well prepared for this exact scenario, or he wouldn't have dared to be so openly hostile. All the more reason for us to be patient. The entire society are his hostages. His subordinates would definitely react if he were taken into custody. And that's why he dared to bare his fangs right in front of me. So one thing's for sure, we won't let him get away with this. But so now, but our big problem is... The true secret of the society is neither on the hat nor on the members' heads. Dujie probably knew this from the very beginning, which is why he didn't panic. Hmm. However, if we were to look at the rules, it would also seem like the head has to be the place where they're keeping all of their secrets. Hmm. Yeah, none of this makes sense to Paimon either. What are they trying to hide? Huh. Okay, so we've got to do some investigations. Okay, what's the, what every height this where is okay, okay so is her head? But there's nothing on her head. There's nothing on her head. Why did Avis feel the need to remove her hat? Engineer. No, Barrett Society Barrett. Okay, where did Evie's hide the secret? The the hair lost clip. The all oh, hair's clip. Um, it's on. Or her head, but a lost hair clip? Does it be the lost hair clip? I have an idea, but what a coincidence! So do I. Huh? What is it? Tell about it. Okay, 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 okay. then took her head off to draw her attention to her head. She so she did remove her hair clip. You mean this thing? Yeah. So she handed a key piece of evidence over to us without Dujier noticing. Hmm. Yeah. That would mean huh. Vis didn't stay silent out of fear. She stayed silent because she'd already given us what we needed. Aha! Take a look. Okay. Oh, we gotta know those secrets. We gotta find this truth. Okay, Wesley, take the hair clip for a brief moment. I managed to remove this from the hair clip. It's long, slender, and conical. It's hollow on the inside, and looks something like a cross between a nail and a thorn. Oh. <gasps> What? Uh, Paimon's lost again. Uh, why does a... Let's see. What if we do this? Hmm? Hey, what are you doing? Uh, wait. Some kind of dark liquid is leaking out of the gem. W wait, what? <gasps> oh! And some of it has been absorbed by this thorny-looking thing. The gem is used as a container for the type of liquid. You've probably heard before that water is filled with the strongest emotions of humanity. Uh huh. With that in mind, this liquid is probably a highly concentrated solution of fear. Is that because of the color? Oh, so that's why even touching it will make you remember unpleasant things. So, with this infused thorn, Dujier would be able to censure others. I can only imagine how it would feel to have this directly injected into your brain. Oh. When it hits you, like being flooded with all the terrors you've ever experienced in your life. Ah! Agony, desolation, and an overwhelming sense of despair. Negative! No wonder they're all so terrified of Th it. That's why it's so negative stuff. Was the hat meant to cover Cup. up their wounds? Huh. And that might not even be all. Let's go get them right away. We can't let Dujier escape with all of the evidence. Bunny jump, bunny jump, bunny jump, bunny jump, bop, 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 bop. What are those guards doing here? Your Grace. We have taken the society members into custody. They all tried to flee just a little while ago, as if they had received some kind of order. We decided to forestall their plan, and we're just about to send the word when you unexpectedly arrived. Great work, everyone. Hmm. You had prepared for something like this all along? Just how prepared are you? I'm here to keep an eye on things, so I'm glad that my intuition turned out to be correct. He's so prepared I earlier. Search of the society's headquarters and bring all the members to me. Wow. Understood, Your Grace. Man, he's well prepared this early. Let's check on them. Okay. As expected, they all have a hollow thorn inserted into a wound on their head. Oh. Ugh, I don't want to happen to my head. Wait, did did you pull the thorn out? Dude, that's kind of hard to put it on your head. I can't imagine myself that would have if they somebody pulled a thorn in my head. <sighs> that way, that's gonna hurt. They probably left it there as a lasting reminder of Dujier's censure. Ugh, These just people must have had me. to endure an unimaginable amount of pain. 
I can't imagine that that would have happened. It, I mean, think about myself, that would happen to me. Like somebody put a thorn in my head. The other areas too. Uh, that, that's, that hurt. A thorn in your head? Dude, that, that's kind of painful. Okay, goes for the coups. The papers are actually outdated, but they look like brand new. And it's least seen no one has flipped over. They're like, damn. If you look closely, the secret is almost identical. They didn't seem to be in form of natural through reading. Okay. What's up, Paimon? This is a book that Paimon found in a box next to the book set. Mm -hmm. Its contents are exactly the same as this book on the shelf. Huh. The colors of the covers are completely different, though. And the names of the authors also don't match up. So they were just, just for show. Yeah. And they dared to claim that they wrote these, too. Huh. <laughs> Look at what I found. Hmm. What's that? This is. This is a surveillance port. With this, Dujier would be able to remotely. Oh, I seen those. That's happening at the gathering place. Oh, it's those things that I saw from the beginning. Yeah, I just, I just look around the place and I saw that, and it just showing. It's like a camera. So even if Dujier is not there in person, he'll still always have eyes on the members. So he had cameras here. So that explains why they all so terrified. Indeed. It's easy to become lost and confused when you're given no instructions or any kind of script to follow. I even especially you that's why that's how they be watching people. That's why they can't do anything. And if any action you take may be deemed a mistake, then perhaps it's better to do less or to not do anything at all. Huh. Dujier has already tamed them to his will. Well, I guess we got to stop him then. Huh. Your grace. Man. Dude, what is going on? Dude, this is crazy! I dude, this is some best this is the like the best story grace. I mean, yeah, best story grace. What's the matter? Hmm. We couldn't find any society members in the other areas. It also seems like none of the equipment in those rooms were ever used. All the signs of wear and tear are fake. The lime scale, the layers of dust. They were all hmm. deliberately added. We also investigated the members' residences and weren't able to find anything. Their neighbors all say that they haven't returned home for ages. Wait, what? Oh. Oh. Is that right? Dude, that, that, seriously, that's terrible. They're gone? That could only mean... So that means their headquarters, like, the real headquarters are elsewhere. Indeed. As long as he allowed society to mingle with others, even with threats of censure, Dujie knew that he couldn't stop all of his members from speaking out. Meanwhile, this marvelous gathering place will lose all of its value as soon as a whistleblower sounds the alarm. So instead of being his real base, this is just an elaborate performance. Like a fake one. The rest areas, the fancy equipment, even the members that we saw. They were merely part of the front. Y yeah. And only the most docile and well-trained members were selected as his performers. Hmm. But then, where can we actually find him? <sighs> Let me think. Dujier must be holding all the rest of his members in another place. And if the overseer of my fortress guard has never alerted me to anything of the sort, he must be in Dujier's pocket. Hmm. Well, he he could tell us where the real headquarters are. I'm of the same mind. Let's go. You two, follow me. It's great to have guards. Oh, for the location, so we don't have to run. That's the most likely scenario to me. He's probably already caught wind of Dujier's declaration of war against me. Let's keep heading down. There are some abandoned areas in there. Since he needs space, I'd guess Duchier probably converted them into his headquarters. We should be on the right track. Now we just need to find that turncoat. Hmm. Turncoat. We can take this path. Hmm. You guys take the other. Okay. Uh, this way? You know, it's great to work as a traveler, but I've been thinking about the, uh, something. Hmm. Yeah, I've, I've been thinking about playing as the traveler again, but I gotta figure out how you, how you do more damage. Oh, no, you don't! Get back here, man! 
Ah! Oh, get back here! No, you're not get away, buddy! Hold it right there! Now! Now! No more running! We want answers now! Did Dugier send you? Why did you attack that guard? <sighs> answers now! Yes! I will take your cooperation into consideration when it comes time to hand out sentences. But, but Mr. Dugier, he, he didn't want this guy to expose our true location. We were just about to dispose of him when you caught up to us. So, in other words, your headquarters should be this way. Hmm. Yes, it's just down this way. You'll make it there once you've seen it pass through a large drainage pipe. Now that's more like it! Guards, take them away. Let's go. It's about time that we find out what Dugier's really after. Oh, yeah. Let's go get him. Okay, let's do it. <gasps> no! Oh, man, I forgot to get the artifacts. <sighs> wait, 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 Oh, great! I forgot about that. Oh, hold on. These are all stop, 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 stop! They've been left abandoned due to a lack of funds. Ah, uh, great! Darn it, man! Well, uh, I'll be back to get through this. There are usually guards on patrol here. Hmm. It would seem that all of those guards have been bought as well. Stay sharp. He's got a ton of surprises waiting for us, I'm sure. Hmm. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Okay, he's here. Um, okay. Oh, okay. I can change the artifacts, but I... Okay, I didn't even meant that. I'm sorry. So, yeah, I can change the artifacts. All right. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. There we go. Let's go, bossy, bossy boy! Bossy, 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 ba ha ya! Ba 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 Let's go, let's go, let's go! Ba 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 All right, here we go! Ah ya! Let's finish this! Hot boom! The crowd goes boom, baby! Woo! Right there! Oh, 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 him. I thought me, but yeah, I'm, I'm okay. But I'm just so excited. But even me, him, yeah. You're safe now. Just follow the guards and leave this place. Huh? Yeah. Who knew that there'd be Gardamax here? Dougie ain't really prepared for everything. That's a bad guy for you. And that would explain the strange decommission requests I received, as well as account for all the Gardamax that have mysteriously gone missing. Seems like he's prepared for an all-out confrontation with me. Hey. A book? Seems like some kind of handbook. Let me see. Ah, this should be the society's real rules book. It lists all the rules that they're expected to follow. Members are not permitted to speak to each other or to leave without formal permission. Five members shall form a group, and the whole group will be punished for any single member's wrongdoings. Anyone who reports a fellow member's misbehavior shall be rewarded with food and water. I see. So it's much as I expected. Wow, that's terrible. But that's just cruel and unreasonable. I know. To obtain food and water, prisoners are forced to snitch on others, and in the process cause pain to those around them. Oh, wait, can you say snitch in the game? But yeah, whatever. To avoid punishment, Dumber. they learn to stop talking with one another. This leaves the wounds they've already received to fester, however. And so resentment builds until every prisoner has become an island. Finally, isolated and without hope, they accept their fate as Dugier's slaves. That's terrible! Do you remember what happened to Paimon? She rejected all the snacks in the box once she was spooked by that black gem. She's usually all for tasty snacks, but she chose to go against her instincts after a negative experience. Hmm. Ugh. It's 
That's the best example you could come up with. Anyway, Paimon still thinks she made the right decision. It never hurts to be careful. No, your decision was valid. However, it's also valid to interpret that as a decision that you only made under emotional duress. The human heart is like a raft in a vast and empty ocean. We convince ourselves that we're in control, but in truth, a single wave could sweep us off course and send us crashing into the path of a storm. Those yeah. who use fear to lead others astray must pay for that crime. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah, we moved us those handcuffs. Oh, damn, no, that's oh man, he's ready. He's not fooling around. Well, it's great. Parma made a good decision about that, really. Wait, oh, oh, I forgot about that treasure chest. Let's get it. Get that treasure chest and see what's inside. Woo! Huh. If I'm not mistaken, this space ahead should be the central area of this place. But the door has been locked. Rather than confront Dujier, I think it's more important right now for us to rescue as many society members as possible. You guys should wait here. We'll try to open the door and check out some other spots. <laughs> like, huh, huh. Man, those are good guards, really. Especially, I never thought they had guards here, but yeah. Open the door. Would we have to do something to this mechanism here? Oh, Prima doesn't get it at all. Think of this is like another puzzle. Forget it. Prima's just gonna do some trial and error. Oh, oh come on! Don't mess it up. Hmm. These should be the prison cells. Hmm. Oh. Lots of. Oh, wait, just different. Dujier's probably moved them elsewhere already. Let's still rescue the ones who got left behind, though. Every person counts. Oh, there's one. Hmm. Hey, it's all right now. You can leave this place. No. No, I won't try to leave anymore. I I'll never try to leave again. It's nowhere close to me. I don't want any trouble. No, we're not gonna do that. Please calm down. We're not bad people. We won't be able to get through to her right now. Not with the stress response in the way. I'd also guess there are many others here who are more or less like her. Let's let the guards take care of them for now and keep pushing forward. Yeah, our vice and Fursley are still in danger. Uh, all right. Let's search for an exit first. This seems to be something like a console. This is a surveillance terminal. The information collected by the surveillance ports we found previously will be sent here. I'm sure Dujier really enjoyed sitting here and making his people dance like puppets on strings. Oh, damn it! I'm not even angrier! <laughs> oh. I'll leave this area to you. Make sure to bring everyone out safe. Understood. And please take care as well, Your Grace. We'll return here right away and await your orders. Mm hmm. Just focus on the tasks you've been given. I already have reliable help over here. Let's go back. We have unfinished business, do we not? Yes! That mechanism from the first room. Maybe we'll also need to hold it in place using the same device to open the door that leads to the central area. Don't forget to bring these along. There, there's everybody! Why is everybody? There's a lot of- I must confess to being furious. To think that there are still some of you who find it permissible to spit upon our rules. <gasps> Wait, is he gonna- Remember their names. Fasal and Avis. They've betrayed you, betrayed us. And today you will see with your own eyes what'll happen to those who betray our cause. Wait, is they gonna... Is he's gonna... Go on, Avis. Pierce his skull with the thorn in your hands and then push in the Aqua Dolores. Dude, no, 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 no. That's too far. No, 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 no. That, that's bad, man. You will do it one drop at a time. Let it do its magic again and again, and don't stop until you've pushed all of it in. How terrible do you get? It's all. I'm sorry. Oh. It. It's okay. No. I'll find a way to endure. No, please don't do it. Oh my gosh, dude, no. Oh, shut your wretched mouth. When did I give you permission to speak? Oh, that's it, dude! You don't tell anybody to shut up, dude! You're going down, mister! My rules are the I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Day. I gotta go to carry away. Pain will come to those who dare to disobey. That's enough, Dujier. 
Your rabid screams have been beyond nauseating. I know, right? <gasps> Is that His Grace? Oh, Risley. I knew you would come, but I didn't expect you to be so quick. Yeah, we always be quick. Must you still refuse to let me be? Did I not spell everything out for you already? What's so blasphemous about sharing a slice of the cake with me when you've already got the entire fortress at your feet? It would seem that you can't see the difference between sharing and looting. And on top of that, look at your people. Are they not starving as you wolf down your cake? You. You starve back and all high and mighty like some hero of justice. Oh, he is a hero of justice. Have you forgotten? Nobody in this blasted fortress is innocent. We are all irredeemable monsters who have destroyed something that others held dear. What's so wrong about punishing those who deserve to be punished? It's what they've always deserved. They don't deserve punish. And please, are you really going to tell me that you care about their lives and well-being when you just need a supply of labor to keep this place running? Is it that all you need to keep your cushy life? Sadly, you're wrong on both counts. He's inhuman. Unlike you, I've never seen them as currency. The fortress is not only a place for confinement, but also a place for rebirth. Exactly. Just as people are free to give in to the darkness within their hearts, they are also free to seek redemption and a new beginning. Our bodies have exactly. rights, but our spirits will always remain free. See, he gets the point. All they want to seek is redemption and a new beginning for a better future. Not just use them as slaves, dude. Seriously, that is so wrong. It's like, that's, that, if you just use them as slaves and punish them for that, dude, that's inhuman. That's not human. Seriously, that's so wrong. They may have made mistakes, but they are still human beings with people and things that they cherish. See, he gets it. See, we're not perfect people. We make mistakes. We're human beings. That's all. Like, seriously. And you don't have to punish people for making mistakes and stuff. I mean, they just try it again and, and don't do it again. I mean, we, we gotta learn something in this world to make it better for ourselves. Seriously, dude. You can't do that. You can't just use people as slaves and then do what you want to do. That's not human. That's so wrong. And most importantly, they should always retain the freedom to choose their own path once they've reflected on their past misdeeds. There you go! He said it! He said the whole truth! But you, you're destroying their spirits with fear. Yeah! Taking their freedom away so that they'll become slaves who will never again feel or think. Yeah, that's right! And you say that's what they've always deserved? You are nothing compared to them. There you go! That's that's what that's what I meant. There he that he, now he knows this. He, he's really mad. Oh yeah, I feel the same way too. You think me arrogant, Risley. Well, I think you're too young and naive. You understand nothing of this world. <clears throat> Nobody actually sees this fortress as any kind of just a wonderful place. See it for what it is. A dumping ground of pain and misery, irredeemable now and irredeemable forever. No prisoner will listen to you out of gratitude of their hearts. The whip is the only way to make them obey. You way out of you way out of your lead, dude. Had you been just one step slower, <gasps> I would have already taken control of all the garden mechs in this place. Your vision gives you strength, but how long will it hold against these powerful constructs? You talk big, but in the end, you know nothing outside of power and control. In that case, let me give you a small taste of what real power looks like. Oh, now show him! Show him, dude! I'll show you what I got, boy! Mm. Oh, no, 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 not like this. Ouch! Let the show begin. Yeah! Disappear. Wait, did I just... Did, wait, did he just die? Oh, well, never mind. Yes! Feel my punches! Yeah! Yeah, I'll uh, feel his punches! Ha! If you think fear can control everything, hmm. well then, terrify me. Oh. Don't high road me. You're just another crook. And it's time to <gasps> Wait! Like you can't use guns! 
Wait, since when he used guns in Geshin? Yeah, you're scared now, huh? Ah! Don't you dare! It's okay, guys. What's the matter? Too scared to shoot straight? Funny how that slipped my mind. Oh, there he's at you! You can forget about that rule. The rule is the dog is at you! I love this dog! But if the Duke wants somebody dead, he needs no justification. Understood. <laughs> the sergeant members who imprison the true hair card. Dude, that's why he's the top dog! Dude, he's the toughest dog ever! Dude, this is why I love him! Wisely spend so much time to each an emperor and comfort them and his personal apologies. And following that, he's a main arrangement, follow up medical care and clean up work. Two. And does the Barry Sarsage dare battle this kill come to an end? <laughs> dude, dude! This is it, dude! Holy, he just play him down! Dude, that's, this is why I love him. That's why he's so great! Sorry for taking so long. Could I keep you waiting? <laughs> Not at all. Raymond didn't know you were so considerate. <laughs> <laughs> if you ask me, I'd say I actually feel very helpless. <laughs> There's no way that I could truly empathize with the fear that the members feel. Dude, yeah. I could comfort and compensate them all I want, but it might still not be enough to repair the damage that has been done. I have to take responsibility for it, as does the fortress. <laughs> At least we're able to stop before it get any worse, right? Yeah, it's the least that we could do. So, do you have a plan for how you're going to deal with him yet? Mm-hmm. Oh, do you? Oh. I've already got an idea. Oh! For now, I think I'll do nothing. Oh, wait, what? Huh? what? Wait, wait, why? I mean, well, yeah, wait, yeah, why? I think it's a very fitting punishment for him to have to imagine the sorts of punishments that will soon be coming his way. Oh! He's left in the dark with regards to both the dates and the details of his punishment. Oh, so he's just, oh, you just wait, oh, you just not gonna do nothing. He's just gonna let him face the punishment that's gonna come into him of what's gonna happen by doing nothing. Huh. Yeah, you do have a point. I mean, we're not gonna, like, just, like, 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 execute him or anything. I mean, it's just, like, we just let him see what would happen during, along the way, during he might gonna face some judgment along the way. So, uh, it does something like that, right? Of course, that's not to say that I'll be letting him off scot-free. Oh. It's not often that I actually get the chance to be creative with my punishments. Uh, uh okay. I'm going to talk to the members of the society. He'll get a chance to experience everything that he's ever inflicted on them. <laughs> Good idea! Paimon didn't know you could also be so harsh. Looks like she should watch her tongue when she's around you in the future. Mm. Why do you think I'd do that kind of thing to you? You offend me, Paimon. Oh. Anyway, jokes aside, thank you so much for all of your help. Yeah. There's still a lot for me to take care of. So... <laughs> Oh, love, I just love him. Love him. How about this? I'll treat you to a meal in two days at the coupon cafeteria. We should have a better handle on things by then. Yeah, sure. Dude, I need to cosplay as this guy. Oh. Uh, no, Paimon's had enough of that place. Oh, don't worry. It won't be the same old welfare meal. I'll make the necessary arrangements. Oh, then you've got yourself a deal. <laughs> hey. Ah, you're here. Hey! Paimon never forgets about meals. Even if the traveler forgets, Paimon will remind him for sure. Uh, you say that as if I have been feeding you or something. Uh, that's not what Paimon meant at all. Come Paimon, on. You got what Paimon meant, right? Come on, you know I always take care of you, Paimon. Hmm? I'm a little confused, actually. Hey, not you too. <laughs> Jokes aside, I've got some good news. After taking a look, the doctors have let me know that it shouldn't be too difficult to extract the thorns, which means that everyone should be able to recover after a period of rest. As for their mental recoveries, most are making good progress as well. 
We've added a few who were more severely affected to a special observation list. Oh. But you sure got everything taken care of, Risley. I try my best. After all, it's my duty to take care of everything that happens within my territory. I have a question for you, actually. Please, go ahead. Your flashback when you pick up your gem. And, like, your anger, you confronted Dougler. Like... Ah, that's a bit of a long story. A, a bit of a long story? I once had a similar experience. It had to do with the host family I lived with as a child. Uh, oh. I was an orphan, adopted by a couple with a great deal of love in their hearts. I had many siblings, and we all adored each other. Once we were older, Mom and Dad would turn us over to be individually adopted by families of greater means, and go on to adopt more young children. Oh. They were perfect parents. Or so I thought. So you thought? And then? What happened next? And then, I found out we were merely raised as livestock. Once we had reached a certain age, our parents would bring us to the market for sale. What? All children that were sold would leave the house, and nobody would know what became of them. As for those who didn't sell, they were merely disposed of. <gasps> what? No! Did you know I once considered myself an extremely lucky child? And all of my friends, all of my siblings, they all felt this way as well. Oh. I was also not the first to find out about the truth. All those who found out before me were simply added to the disposal pile. Oh. I could never shake the feeling of irony every time I juxtaposed their tragic ends against our parents' adoring smiles. That explains a lot. Yes. Like the society, my parents created a facade of joy, lied to satiate their desires, and even employed incredibly cruel methods to keep their grasp on power. Mm. They did all of that, but never considered how their actions would utterly ruin all the children they took under their wing. Worse, perhaps they never cared about that at all. Man, he I guess he have a hard he guess he have a harsh past. I'm sorry, man. But I did. So in the end, I killed them and set all of the remaining children free. I was convicted for my crimes and exiled to the fortress of Meripede. Oh. My methods were extreme, yes. Yeah. But you're still you're still a good guy, really. I mean, you're a good you like you're a good boss for this place, for all people. Yeah. But I was still a teenager at the time. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I've been betrayed by those I trusted most. And I didn't think that more moderate ways would solve the problem. My doubt and helpless anger pushed me forward until I got what I deserved. I guess I I really don't know what to say. It's all right. You don't have to tell me what you think. I've already committed to this path regardless of what anyone may say about it. The least I can do is to make sure that the same tragedy will not happen again in my new home. Yeah, that's true. Sorry to disturb you, everyone. Oh. Oh, it's a decent facade. Are you two feeling better yet? It was all because you arrived in time. I managed to escape unscathed. I'm glad to hear it. We came here on impulse today because we were hoping that you'd be able to lend us a hand, Your Grace. Please, go on right ahead. I'll do my best to help. Within reason, of course. But I'm so glad they're not so shy and everything. I'm glad they got rid of the guy. And now they can talk freely now. Like, without no... Nobody watching or anything. It's... <clears throat> I'd like to be... Wedded to Avis here... At the fortress. Wedded? <gasps> Wait, you guys getting married? <gasps> You're getting married? Oh! Oh! I wanna be the... I wanna be this guy first man! Oh. Oh, really? Oh, my God. Okay, I even about to get married. Okay, my headphones. I've been so shocked. Oh, my gosh. Bro, they're gonna get married? Oh, my gosh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. All right. Ah, that's better. Yeah. Wait, you seriously getting married? I'll be the man's bro. I'll be the man's guy. Yeah. I'll be his man. We each other through the society and both fell into Dugier's trap. Oh. But even during our time, Wait. we never doubted each other. We always believed that Dugier was manipulating us, trying to make us mistrust each other. Hmm. And after this incident, we've come to believe that we've found the one 
for the rest of our lives. Oh, that's so heartwarming and sweet. But wait, is there marriage in that place? I mean, in the in the truth, in this place. Wait, can they get married in this place? <laughs> you could say we managed to make the best out of a bad situation. He didn't abandon me, and I didn't forsake him either. Uh. But we're still both prisoners. And we also aren't sure if the fortress is the best place to host something so celebratory. Wait, can they get married in this place? I just thought about that. Like, since we know everything about for about this place, about, like, the food and the, the coupons and all this stuff we just know about, but the only thing we haven't know about is marriage here. Can they get married in this place? So, we are just wondering... Is our request a bit too out of line? Uh... Hmm. You're right in that the fortress has never hosted a wedding before. Uh, yeah! Uh, can they do that? But that's no reason to say no, is it? I'll help you make the arrangement. <laughs> if you need anything special shipped in from the surface, just say the word. <gasps> we can't thank you enough, Your Grace. We are actually also planning to stay here after the conclusion of our sentences. Oh, okay! Congratulations, you two! Yeah. We've already made tons of special memories here. So now, it'd be too hard to leave. And we have full confidence in the fortress's future with you at the helm, your grace. Your trust is the highest form of praise. Uh. Hey, loosen up a bit. <laughs> Shouldn't you be the happiest man in Tibet to hear that people would like to stay of their own free will? Yeah. Yeah. I'll always take a genuine expression of faith over any obligation to obey. Ah. Uh. Yay! We did it! Dude! Best story quest ever! Woo! Guys, that's it for this story quest. Dude, that is so awesome, man. Oh, I love it. So, yeah, guys, that's it for this story quest now. And I'll see you guys next time. Wait, see you guys?